What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Yankee video. And why does it seem I have to make these videos all the time for the Yankees? I get to make one good video about the Yankees, and that's it. So tonight, I don't even know where to begin with the Yankees. This is an absolute clown show. They're a clown show. They're an embarrassment to the pinstripes. They are an absolute embarrassment. Um, we'll start with the good. Jordan Montgomery, very good tonight. Five and two-thirds, no runs. Yankees finally got him a run. Kid pitched great. Luis Sessa pitched great. Right? The bullpen, up until the ninth inning, did a good job tonight. Yankees didn't get a lot of hits. Had four hits. Manufactured runs. Stealing bases. Bunting runners over. Sacrifice flies. I was happy with the offense. No, they didn't hit a lot of line drives. They didn't hit home runs. But they manufactured runs to a point where they were up 3-1 to one going to the bottom of the ninth inning. A team that every freaking time you think is going to turn the corner into my live stream that I just finished. The guy said, do you, th do, you think the Yankees are do you think the Yankees are making the playoffs? And I said, no. And I mentioned a couple times. It's like the Paul Abdul song, man. The opposites attract. You take two steps forward, I take two steps back. We come together because opposites attract. That's the Yankees. Two steps forward, two steps back. Every time they have a chance to win a big game, whether that was against the Red Sox earlier in the year, against the Angels, against the Mets, against the Astros, and then again tonight, they find a way to blow it. Every freaking time. Aaron Boone is a clown. An absolute clown. Knows nothing about baseball. Nothing. Chad Green is trash. Absolute garbage. Garbaggio. Versuda. All right? He stinks. Dude comes in. Nothing. Has nothing. Every single pitch. Every, not every pitch. Every single strike. Right down the center of the plate. Waist high. Every one of them fastballs. Straight as a string. 95. Ready to be hit. On a tee. And the Red Sox, every one of them batters hit the piss out of the ball. The Yankees honestly should have lost the game in the bottom of the ninth inning. They got lucky to get out of it and get to the 10th. And then what do they do? They manufacture on DJ LeMahieu, a little dribbler out in the front of the plate. Tyler Wade goes to third. Brett Gardner comes up, does his job, sacrifice fly. And then the real fun begins. Krisky, who I don't even know who the hell this guy is, Comes in and has one of the most embarrassing performances I've ever seen. You guys all seen Major League. It's the greatest baseball movie ever made. And I know most of you have seen Major League. Charlie Sheen, Wild Thing. I'm pretty sure there's one part in a bar where a guy goes up to Charlie Sheen and says, Hey, can I have your autograph? And Charlie Sheen says, Sure. The guy's got spiky ear and he signs it. And he said, uh, You threw four wild pitches that you tied a Major League record. You made their Hall of Shame. And uh, Charlie Sheen just kind of looks and says, Thank you. Nice hair. And, uh, Says this is my first autograph. Well, that was Krisky tonight. Four freaking wild pitches. The Sox didn't even need to try to score. Didn't even need to try. Wild pitch. Uh, Devers goes to third. Wild pitch. Devers scores. Let's walk. <laughs> what do they do? They they walk Xander Bogarts, right? It was Xander Bogarts. You walk Bogarts. Wild pitch, Bogarts a second. Wild pitch, Bogarts a third. Strikes out J.D. Martinez. Big out. And I understand not walking J.D. Martinez. The count's two and two. I get you don't walk J.D. Martinez. And this is where Aaron Boone, you are a, you're supposed to be a Major League Baseball manager and a freaking Little League manager knows to do this. You are tied at four in the bottom of the 10th. If the runner from third scores, the game's over. The batter at the plate, his run means zilch, zero, nothing, nada, nothing. Zero. What in the hell do you not walk him for and set up the double play? What the hell Major League Manager goes, oh, maybe my guy who can't strike anybody out has given up three home runs in six innings then has an ERA over 10. Maybe he can strike this guy out too. What are the odds of that? Not good. 
You had nothing to lose by walking Hunter Renfro and getting the slow footer Christian Vasquez up at the plate and hopefully getting him the ground into a double play. Nothing to lose. And yet, you pitch to a guy with first and second open in the bottom of the 10th in a tie game with a runner on third and less than two outs. Makes no sense to me. You could be a baseball beginner and know that that is not the way you handle that situation. Luis Sessa was great. He should have just left Luis Sessa in the game. The main, the Dan, I tell you that, the analytical department for the Yankees got to be fired. This has to start from the absolute top. It's got to be dealt with from the top down. Cashman, gone. He put this scrub team together. Gone. Get him out of there. Aaron Boone, get him the hell out of there. The analytical department, terrible, because I don't know how much of this is Aaron Boone and how much is this stupid analytics department. I don't need to know about analytics. I don't need to know, hey, my pitcher's pitching well. Let me stick with him. Sessa threw like five pitches. They didn't touch him. They hit two numbers. I mean, they couldn't even touch Sessa. And Chad Green has sucked for God knows how long now. He can't be in there in a high leverage situation. And Boone continues to put these guys who fail in high leverage situations and high leverage situations every game. He mismanages the bullpen. He mismanages the game constantly. It's like he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. It's like he knows nothing about baseball. The Yankees are a clown show. This has happened way too many times this year, man. They have had so many opportunities to win games in the ninth inning. And as I said to the Red Sox fans, hey, congratulations. This is why the Red Sox are in first place and the Yankees are in where they are. I think they're still in third, but they're close to fourth. Them and Toronto have pretty much the same record. Because the Red Sox know how to play baseball. And they know how to come back from games in which they look dead. They looked dead until Chad Green got in there and started throwing batting practice. They looked dead. And they come back, they find a way to win. I'm not even asking the Yankees to find a way to come back and win games or they're down 3-1 to one in the ninth, which I don't think they've done that all year. They don't even know how the hell to close out a game. They have blown so many leads in the ninth inning. They're the only team in the major leagues this year to lose a game where they've led by five runs or more in the ninth inning twice. Well, they've done it twice. They're the only team to, lo- they're the only team to lose and they've done it twice. Tonight, no, it was only 3-1, to one, but it doesn't matter. This is a huge series. You have this team on the ropes. You get a chance to get back to six games in the AL East with three more to play. And instead of doing that, you find a way to blow a game, and not only in the ninth inning, but then have one of the most embarrassing 10th innings or innings in baseball I've ever seen with four wild pitches. And then your idiot manager not knowing you're supposed to walk the guy to set up the double play because Hunter Renfro's run meant absolutely nothing. If you're a baseball guy, if you've made it this far, baseball guy, baseball girl, please tell me Aaron Boone's thinking behind not walking Hunter Renfro. I would love to know it because I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Do analytics say don't walk the guy there? I don't understand. Somebody tell me. Anyway, and again, I was supposed to get sleep tonight. Not happening. I appreciate all you guys girls watching. I appreciate everybody in the live stream. It was an awesome stream. I am going to be doing more Yankee games for sure. So tune in for that. Oh, man, enjoy uh, your Friday, and hopefully I see you... uh, Friday night, I'll be hanging out with Philly 500. We'll be having a lot more fun than I did. Well, I did have fun than I did until the end. Anyway, congratulations to Red Sox. Yankees are a clown show. See what happens tomorrow. Bad diggity dizzle, I'm out. Peace!